Hello friends, myself Dr. Gaurav Agrawal, working as an interventional pediatric cardiologist in Delhi. Today I will speak one common cardiac problem in, seen in pediatric age group known as the aortic stenosis. What is the meaning of aortic stenosis? There is a vessel in the heart that rises from the left sided lower chamber known as the left ventricle and that supplies pure blood to all parts of the body known as the aorta. At its origin, there is a well known as the aortic well. Whenever there is an obstruction or narrowing at the level of well known as the valvular aortic stenosis, below the level of well known as the subvalvular aortic stenosis, or above the well known as the supravalvular aortic stenosis. What happens if there is a, some narrowing at any level of aorta? Whenever there is a severe narrowing, that will hamper in the forward blood flow from the left ventricle to the aorta and it will give back pressure to the left sided chamber known as the left ventricle. If not treated at proper time and uh, time then it can lead to the failure of the left sided chamber. Now what are, what is the cause of aortic stenosis? In pediatric age group most common cause of aortic stenosis especially the valvular aortic stenosis is abnormal aortic valve. As you can see in this picture, normally the aortic valve is having three leaflets known as the tri-leaflet aortic valve. But in pediatric age group, most commonly it is in the form of bicuspid aortic valve with two leaflets only instead of three. It is, a it is having a tendency to get obstructed over a period of time. Sometimes the, uh, patient, uh, the baby who is getting born is having severe narrowing at the level of well known as the known as the critical aortic stenosis. Neonates in this type of problem will have shock like presentation so we have to treat early. Subvalvular aortic stenosis can be due to the some growth below the level of well and supravalvular aortic stenosis is commonly seen in a syndrome known as the William syndrome that is also associated with some narrowing in the lung vessels known as the pulmonary artery. Now, what are the symptoms of aortic stenosis at any level? If the obstruction or narrowing is mild, child is generally asymptomatic. But if the obstruction is very severe, as I already told you, in neonatal age group, it, if it is in the form of critical aortic stenosis, child will come in the form of shock-like state, will require ventilator and ICU care, and we have to treat on urgent basis. And infant and children, if the narrowing is gradually progressing, then the earlier symptom will be the fatigue. The child will uh, tired early as compared to the peer group. And uh, in a bigger child, chest pain, syncope, and the dyspnea in later stages. Chest pain occur when the child will play. Syncope means loss of consciousness while doing some activity due to the low cardiac output, low blood supply to the brain. And dyspnea means when there is a shortness of breath on doing some activities. Dyspnea is a grave sign and it will indicate that the left sided chamber is getting pain. So the presentation of aortic stenosis can be in the form of serious situation like shock like state in neonatal age group or it can be in the form of mild when the, there is no symptoms. So timely diagnosis is required for managing such type of patients. For diagnosing such type of issues, echocardiography is, is the modality that is also known as the ultrasound of the heart that we have to do from the chest from here chest of the child and it, it is a non-invasive thing sometimes in uh, early infancy when the child is not cooperative we have to give some oral sedation so that the child will sleep and it is not having any harmful effect on the child bicuspid aortic valve in majority of the cases is associated with narrowing in the aorta in the distal part known as the coaptation of aorta. So we have to carefully assess for aortic stenosis as well as the coaptation of aorta. Sometimes also can be associated with hole in the heart known as the ventricular septal defect. Besides echocardiography, we, uh, we can do ECG and X-ray that can help in assessing the severity of the aortic stenosis. So rarely we have to go for the CT scan of the heart for assessing the cooperation of aorta in such type of situation. Fetal hypocardiography is a modality uh, in which we can assess the problems in the heart of the fetus in, uh, during pregnancy 
by ultrasound of the fetus. Sometimes it is difficult to pick bicuspid aortic valve, but we can easily pick subalveolar type of aortic stenosis and supravalvular type of aortic stenosis as well as coarctation of aorta in majority of the cases. Next video, we will discuss about the treatment options for various type of aortic stenosis. For more detail, you can log into my website, childrenheartcare.com. Thank you very much.